hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we're gonna add the other functionalities to our granny for example looking for the player or you can say deducting the player and then chasing the player and also attacking the player so let's go first of all we need to decrease some variables all right right here let me create a header by the name of sound reduction all right and then write down below create another header by the name of cranny states all right for example the looking for player state chasing state and attacking state right here first of all we need a reference to the player transform then we need a float and we're gonna name this as direction radius make it 7 by default then after this we need another float name this as a take range this will be 2 by default then we need another float by the name of attack cooldown this will be 1 by default then we need a bool so we are going to create bool right here private bool name this as last attack time actually let's not make this bool instead right here we are going to create a float by the same name last attack time and set this to zero by default all right and this is pretty much it now what we can do is first of all we need to create a method which will be used to look for player all right and as you know that we are going to name it as look for player as well then in here create a collider array All right name it as hit colliders it will be equals to physics dot overlap sphere right here say uh, add the granny position and then uh, add the deduction radius all right so what this means that it will create a sphere around the granny position and that sphere radius will be the deduction radius and then if inside that radius it uh, deduct uh, any collider and if that collider tag is player then it means that there is a player and then we will make the granny chase the player and attack the player all right so now whatever colliders are inside this hit colliders we need to deduct each one of them so for that we will create a for each loop in which we will add a create a variable by the name of hit collider in hit colliders all right then if we found any collider that has a player tag all right and okay um, we just need to check that if it has the player tag so if it has the player tag then we gonna change the is chasing bool to true because the player is deducted and now the granny need to chase the player or you can say move towards the player and we don't want the granny to return so we will set it to false all right and then we gonna say break and now we are able to deduct player but as you know that there is no method by which the granny can now chase the player so let's create a method in order to chase the player all right so right here create a method by the name of chase player all right and we're gonna say nav mesh agent dot set 
destination the destination will be the player dot position because of course we want the granny to move towards the player position and then we want to stop a little bit away from the player okay because we don't want the granny to keep chasing the player all right we want the granny to stop when granny is in certain radius so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a float by the name of distance to player and then right here we're gonna say vector 3 dot distance past the granny position so type transform dot position then the player position so player dot position and then what we're gonna do we're gonna now check that if the distance to player is less than or equals to the attack range all right if this is the case then it means that we now need to stop the granny because we don't want the granny to chase the player anymore because the player is now in the attack range and the granny can now attack all right so we're gonna say name mesh agent dot stopped equals to true this will stop the granny from moving and of course we want the is chasing to be false as well and the is attacking should get to true all right and in the else if we're gonna say that if the distance to player is greater than the reduction radius then it means that the player is now moving away all right and when the player is moving away or the granny is far from the player all right the player is no longer in the deduction radius then it means that the player has escaped so we will set the is chasing to false and the is returning to true because we want the granny to return to the start location when the granny didn't find any player this is all we need to type now if we get in the update method right here First of all, we are going to add at the top that if the granny is dead, whoops, if the granny is dead, then simply return because we don't want to do anything. For now, we don't added any health or anything to granny, but just make sure to add this. All right. Now, right here, the granny returned to the start. Now, what we want to do, we want to say right here that else if, the player is not waiting then look for player so we're gonna call the method look for player all right then we can add one more else if right here at the top in which we're gonna say that if the player is chasing all right if the is chasing bull is true then just go ahead and chase the player that is all we have to type right here you can save the script get back right here we need to add the player transform in there so drag and drop the player and right here make the reduction radius as 15 for now all right and now if we go ahead and play the game all right let's wait for the granny here it is the granny is as you can see chasing the player all right But if you notice when the granny reaches the player and now as you can see the granny just stays there all right if i show you right here click on these three dots click uh, to debug mode okay change it to debug mode right here as you can see now the is attacking is true so that's why the granny is just attacking right here because the granny caught us right there all right so that's why the granny stopped there once we add attack method to our game then this issue will be fixed all right the granny will start chasing us again when we get out of range but now as you can see the granny just stops there and if you notice the granny can now hear sounds and can chase the player all right just make sure that your deduction radius for granny is 15 okay now with all this added now in the next video we're gonna add attacking to our granny ai so see you guys in the next one